Hello and welcome to the Boardman Park Report. I'm Mia Hamilton for BSTN. Joining me this morning are Park Commissioner Trent Kaler and Frank Rooley, a member of Friends of Boardman Park. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Kaler, the primary election is about a month away. What do you want people to know about the park levy that's on the ballot? Just that it's an important renewal. There's no new taxes. Uh, you know, it's pennies a day, uh, two cents a day for the average homeowner and boardman. Again, no new taxes. The park has almost doubled in size over the years. You know, we, we keep getting pieces of land donated to us and such and so forth. So we have the same maintenance staff that we've had for 20 years, the same size of people, you know, the same number of people that work, yet we're still doing all of the same things that we've done with twice the amount of land. You know, we've got new buildings that have come on over the last 20 years, and the ability for our staff to be able to take care of those buildings and make it an enjoyable experience for everybody to come and see the park is absolutely phenomenal given that you know, we've used the same tax dollars for the last you know, 70 some years. Um, you know, we've never had any more increase in revenue. We just do it with what we have. And that's a testament to, to our people and, and you know, everything about it. Mr. Rooley, I hear you are a member of Friends of Borman Park. Why do you get involved and why is it so important to you? Well, I was approached by one of the park commissioners to uh, join the organization, and I was really excited to be part of it. Uh, I think for a long time our community has taken the park for granted, and being part of an organization that's going to advocate the park and all of its wonderful qualities is a really important thing to mm -hmm. do. Mr. Kaler, we've talked before about the cost of the levy. It amounts to a little over $7 per year. What are Borman residents getting for their money? Well, they're getting a, a fabulous 243 acres of, of, a, of green space, uh, the ability for, for families, people of all ages to come and enjoy a, a setting where you're not uh, sitting in front of a TV playing video games, you know. You're, you're engaged in an, in an opportunity to, to walk the trails and to, to engage in all the free services and all the free concerts and all of those fun things that we do. And maybe we take it for granted because it's been going on for so long, but it's an important part of our community is the ability for everybody to come and get away from the TV and to come and enjoy something that is fabulous, uh, smells great, you know, clean air, all of those fun things, and actually see people interact with each other instead of worrying about what's going on on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I understand the National Park and Recreation Association has recently released its 2019 national survey results. How does Borman Park stack up compared to other state and local parks? Uh, you'll find in any of those studies that Boardman Park exceeds or beats any measure or matrix that you may see. Uh, you know, we, we have an incredible staff that works uh, very hard on keeping the park as, as beautiful it, as it does. And our staff is like half of what the other parks in the state do have. You know, I mean, we just feel that, that we do a great job of taking care of the money that you guys so graciously give us. You know, the taxpayers so graciously give us, and we try to make sure that we're using, um, you know, being good stewards of that. Mm -hmm. Finally, when voters go to the polls on November 5th, what do you hope they are thinking about with regards to Borman Park? Frank, what do you think? Well, I hope they would understand that it is a really critical measure that we renew this uh, levy. That without it, we are going to lose 20% of our funding and you are going to see a negative result in the performance. Uh, I know it might not be, uh, it might not be a, a really exciting uh, election year, but it's really important for the residents of Boardman to get out and support their park and not take it for granted. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you both so much for being here today. Uh, remember, to learn more about the park, you can always go to BoardmanPark.com. I'm Mia Hammerton for BSTN. Have a great day and enjoy the park.